Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and please, God, thank you and welcome for coming back to Passage again. But this is some of the things that I really hate having to do here on the channel. This is garbage. This is hot, wet, violently annoying me garbage. This is the kind of stuff that's actually being released onto the console markets on the PlayStation Network uh, now, and I can't, I, 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 I can't, I, I can't, I can't deal with it. Uh, there, this is puzzle showcase 4k on the playstation 4 obviously i'm showing you some things here but we're going to run out of things to talk about so so quickly what appears to be a unreal engine game designed for the express purposes of possibly leeching some money out of somebody's pockets made by a group of people who basically built a framework and then borrowed so many public domain and creative commons music and pictures and like half the stuff is actually available as part of the like the youtube library audio wise the rest of it is actually images that have been lifted from creative commons websites this is uh, I'm, I'm pulling the hair of my beard out of my jaw while looking at this vile rubbish that i actually sat down and had to play no disrespect to the people who created it themselves, but damn you, Puzzle Showcase 4K is exactly what I hate to see happening whenever people are getting access to published games on the PlayStation Network. Now, thankfully, I didn't pay for this. The Puzzle Showdown creators gave me the code for this. I, I don't think that was a smart idea, guys. I, I mean, essentially, unless you're hoping to trade on negative reinforcement of what you've made let me just explain to the people that are playing that are watching me here what it is that this game actually is about it's a jigsaw puzzle game it's simple enough it's the same as slide and go and the other games that i kind of picked up a while back i'd be terrified to know that this is actually made by the same developers now you can see that i'm flicking through a number of images here pretty fast as fast as i can I can go through every image that's in the library of this game pretty damn quickly. That shows how little there actually is to play in it. And then on top of that, how little there is to actually see. And some gorgeous images created by some amazing photographers that are being abused essentially by being used in this game. Now, uh, there's, I'm just going to show you essentially what the gameplay is. The gameplay in inverted commas is in this by doing the Itsukushima Shrine. Um, I've, I've been there, as far as I know. Have, have I been there? Have I actually been to that? Yeah, that's the Tori Gate in the water. I'm pretty sure. I've, I've stood on the dock to the right hand side of this image in a Yukata and looked like a goddamn lunatic because I was huge and the Yukata barely covered me. But you can see that it lights up whenever you go over the square that actually the puzzle piece fits in i i'm pretty sure like as an accessibility option blind people can complete jigsaw puzzles using this game by moving the control pad around and feeling the rumble feedback function on the controller if, that, if that's an if that's the intent if that's the original intent that this is actually to allow puzzling of jigsaws to be made for uh, the blind then fair play i um, uh, that's that's pretty cool that's a, that's a pretty cool choice but i think i may be given a little bit too much uh, value and depth to the planning on the part of the developers in this one uh this is awful uh, they, 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 uh, literally we have another four and a half minutes of this i mean even with the assisting of it it just drags so slow like six minutes feels like an eternity whenever you're playing this i i i, I don't know what else to say I, I've, I've almost blown my load too early on this particular one um yeah I, I, what, what what can i say that's redeeming like, i have to think of someone that's redeeming so it has multiplayer obviously i didn't play multiplayer i'm playing single there is multiplayer jigsaw puzzling where i imagine you're competitively speed running through puzzles by trying to fill the gaps faster than anybody else which could be a good bit of fun if you have a couple of friends who'd like to do this sort of thing i think it's all local so maybe 
maybe I might find something intrinsically surreally entertaining if I get a couple of people to play this. But wow, wow, it's so hard to get over the angry that I actually am getting from playing this game. It, the, 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 the anger on is palpably painful to actually kind of like try to not let out. I, oh God, I can understand why ragey gamers can be so damn ragey because it's whenever you run into something that just violently offends you in some way, shape, or form, it's like un all you can do not to swear prolifically. Like drop F bombs and C bombs and whatever else. Over and over again, and I'm I'm generally I'm I'm not I'm not prudish about my language, but I just want to actually not let this be a ragey comment, more just be offended by its existence. As a as a mobile app game, maybe as a game on the Philips CDI in the mid 90s, maybe as a uh, early Mega CD release, maybe as. This, this, does this, this isn't the game that needs to be made anymore, right? I mean, we've we've obviously seen this before. We've is, is there a reason why we're going back? Are we, are we regressing in our developmental cycles? That, that somebody went, wow, there actually is a. There's probably still money to be made in this. As a passion project, fair play. If this was your big passion, but please, God, this is this plays out like. A test thing that you should have made as part of a class project if this was a class project good for you why did you pay to get it developed and released on the PlayStation there's a comment in the actual special thanks that says thank you very much for getting us in touch with the publishers who then paid to publish this game and, and just, I just don't know oh man the only thing that's going to soothe my mind is actually looking at this relaxing Tory git and the beautiful weather and whoever that this creative commons image belongs to. I hope, I hope some way, somewhere you're getting paid very well for other images because this is quite endearing. But God damn, I want to actually get out of this video as fast as possible. Uh, guys, don't buy this, obviously. Don't joke about it maybe just let this fucking game die because it needs it so damn bad thank you very much for watching and stick around on the channel for more videos and i hope to see you all again very very soon remember obviously to subscribe and like and all the other things i will see you all in the next video bye